he received both uh, a very thorough education in literature, law, all the sciences of his day, but he also underwent a spiritual training for many years that involved fasting and retreat. So his education was quite deep and, and comprehensive. He possessed a unique combination, this Shakespeare of mystics. Uh, it's hard to think of anybody in the history of world literature who has his combination of personal sanctity on the one hand and literary talent on the other. Rumi was the message himself and he never had ambitions to be a poet or a great literary figure. It's just something that flowed naturally from his state. Move beyond any attachment to names. Every war and every conflict between human beings has happened because of some disagreement about names. It's such an unnecessary foolishness. Because just beyond the arguing, there's a long table of companionship set and waiting for us to sit down. What is praised is one, and so the praise is one too. Many jugs being poured into a huge basin. All religions, all this singing, one song. The differences are just illusion and vanity. Sunlight looks slightly different on this wall than it does on that wall and a lot different on this other one, but it is still one light. We have borrowed these clothes, these time and space personalities from a light. And when we praise, we're pouring them back in. Thank you.